Hello friends, my name is Hannah. Welcome to Hannah Makes Things. Uh, I wanted to introduce you, introduce to you, a very special guest, Bella. Uh, this is our 10-year-old rescue dog. We got her from the Red Deer SPCA seven years ago. Uh, so we got her when she was only three years old. She is now 10. She's a very sleepy girl. Um, but she is my absolute favorite. She is definitely best friend material. Uh, I love her so much and I hope she is in many more videos. Uh, today I wanted to chat about the makings of Hannah Makes Things and our origins, so I will get into that. <music> So I think I mentioned in my first introduction welcome video that we come from some very humble roots and that is very true. Um, I've made this video a few times now and it's always been really difficult for me because uh, I was not in a good place when I started Hannah Makes Things. Uh, I was struggling a lot with my mental health. I'm happy to say I'm doing a lot better now, but uh, yeah, it was definitely a difficult start. I actually started while I was in the hospital. Uh, I was in there for my mental health. Um, I was struggling a lot with anxiety at the time, and I was also in recovery from my eating disorder. I was actually living at a transition house for my eating disorder before. And then my anxiety got so bad that I was having bouts of dissociation, basically forgetting like where I was, who I was, everything like that. It was a really scary time. Um, so I went from the transition house into the hospital and luckily I was able to get some really good help there. But doing art and design is something I've always really wanted to do. And being in the hospital, it just gave me that motivation to finally pursue it for myself. And it became a really good coping mechanism for me. So coming from a little cot in the hospital, um, we've come a long ways, I'm happy to say. Uh, I'm happy to say I don't really struggle with dissociation anymore. I do definitely struggle with my anxiety still, but... Um, I'm getting that under wraps. I'm still in therapy and on medication for that. Um, I also don't have a tripod right now. I'm just holding this, which is why it's super shaky. I apologize. I hope you don't get motion sickness. But um, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video because I think it's important to shed light where we came from. Uh, and just to share that growth too of being in the hospital to having my own business is huge growth and something that I did not think I'd be able to say. So I hope you all come along this journey with me. Um, we will actually be doing some making things and doing some crafts and stuff like that, but uh, I really want this to be just an open channel too. Um, like I said in the first video, I really want this to be a safe place and just a place where we can hang out as friends. Uh, it is mostly friends and relatives following me right now, which I very much appreciate. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see where this goes and I wanna share everything I care about and that includes my mental health journey. Uh, that includes a lot of things I've been through. I hope we have some good discussions on here. Uh, as well as do some crafts and have some fun. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that with you that we've come a long ways already and I'm really proud of where we are. So thank you for watching. Uh, I'm, I'm, oh, I apologize for the shakiness of this video. Um, my hands do get pretty shaky still. Um, but Bella was sleeping and I wanted to film with her for this video because she is very important to me in my recovery as well. So 
Um, thank you for watching. I will see you next video. And next video, we will actually be doing something. I want to make some mini hats with you. So look forward to that. Thanks, everyone.